Hey Nomies, it is me, Nisha, and I'm coming to you with a sickle cell vlog. You have to ignore the dog barking in the background. Sorry, that's Bear, the big dog. Um, I am doing laundry. Um, I was coming because it's been a week since I've been out of the hospital, and I think I haven't done a video since... A day or so after I got out of the hospital um I am Beanie coming to sit here with me while I do the video yeah. mm -hmm. but um I am feeling better I've been out of the hospital exactly a week now um like I said before, I wasn't mad that I went into the hospital or anything like that. I got my nails done yesterday, y'all. Uh, and I actually was going to do a video yesterday, but by the time I got home, I started laundry. Laundry is an ordeal. Like, it's huge because it never stops. But, um, I was going to do a video yesterday because I had my nail appointment, um, and I forgot about it and I kind of had energy but didn't have energy it was kind of on and off and I was like you know what um I'm gonna make myself go because um I'm not just gonna sit here and like do nothing not that my nail getting my nails done is that important but just getting up moving around is important so I pushed myself to get up and move around and go get my nails done got coffee stuff like that didn't get starbucks but i got dunkin donuts and um yeah and then i hope i wasn't covering the volume if it is i probably have to record over because i don't know if y'all can hear me but um uh i went and got my nails done and all that yesterday and I actually have more energy yesterday than i did the day before the day before what's today today's wednesday tuesday monday oh no um, and this week, Monday, I did start back getting up with the kids in the morning because last week when I came home, no, came home on a Friday and Arthur's working midnights right now. So yeah, no, I couldn't, I did not have the energy last week to get up to like cook the kids breakfast and be up with them and stuff like that I just it wasn't in me like the, and they know that the first couple of days I come home from school so by the time they are up moving around Arthur's coming in from work so thank goodness I have a loving and supporting husband who puts himself aside for his family he got the kids did the breakfast stuff and got the kids ready for school and then after they leave for school he goes to sleep um and basically when I first came home from the hospital I was just sleeping the whole day and you know how it is um for all my other warriors out there you know exactly how it is and then so Saturday we went to a wedding I pushed myself we went to a wedding and I slept like most of the day Saturday and then I got up um just in enough time and um had to find another babysitter because our nanny is sick and I hope that I didn't make her I'm pretty sure I didn't make her sick because it's going around and I had strep throat two weeks ago but she ended up having strep throat but she's around the kids as much as we're around the kids she takes them to school every day every morning so um yeah she was sick so I had to find another sitter which we had a lovely friend hey Carrie um she kept them for us um a school friend from the kids at school they have a friend from school you know that how that goes um and then so Sunday we just Super Bowl just relax order pizza that type of thing laid on the couch took a nap um because I really wasn't feeling up to doing too much we got invited to a Super Bowl party hey Jay um yeah and I I I would have had to drive back home with the kids really late and in the morning and at night on my worst time. So, I was like, yeah, babe, I don't feel comfortable. I'm only a few days out of the hospital. The only reason I pushed myself to the wedding is because I know that he was driving. So, if I didn't feel too good, blah, 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 you know, all that. So, he was like, okay, no, no problem, babe. Let's just stay home. So, we stayed home. 
and ordered pizza, chicken, pasta from Pizza Hut. And we ran to the store and got like fruit and veggie tray, chips and dip, that type of thing. Um, then, what else? I'm sorry I'm not walking around like I normally do. Because the only thing that's really, really bothering me right now is my left knee. And I remember I told you guys, I went back and looked in my video, sorry. Um, I went back and looked at my video. And I was telling you guys that my knees were bothering me a lot. And they are. And both of them hurt, but the left one really hurts. It feels like I hurt it. And then sickle cell pain on top of that. Like, it hurts to bend it and turn it. Like, I can't go too fast. Like, that's why I'm sitting down. Um, I don't know. if You know how you tweak a body part and you don't know that you tweaked it? I don't know if I tweaked it or what but i've been taking my medicine and my pain medicine and my folic acid and folic acid and hydroxyria or hydrio however you want to say it um and i've been putting muscle rub and heat on my knee and jeez like ugh. and when i'm outside of the house i've been using those salon pies thank you french girl um for telling me about those they are actually pretty good i like them it's just like icy hot or Bengay or Muscle Rub. It, it's the hot and cold type of feeling. But I don't like the smell. It smells like old person. It's worse than the Muscle Rub. But whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, what else? Um, 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 I'm trying to give you guys like an update. Because I don't know the next time I'll do a video. I still have like a video that I started editing before I got sick. It was, it's just a regular vlog. And I'm not going to push myself to do that type of stuff. And I can never do that when I'm in a hospital drug. Because it will be jacked up, y'all. I'm just saying. Like, I have some lost hospital footage that I'm going to put up, too. Um, from, like, last year. And, like, one, y'all, I was so medicated. I had the camera upside down. Like, but, um, yeah. So, as far as my medicines, I am down to my lowest pain medicine, which is tramadol. And taking a leave in between there. Um, I still have Dilaudid. But I do not take Dilaudid anymore. And I do not ask my doctor for that prescription anymore. I just have some left over from the last time. And me and my doctor, I told you guys, we agreed that I don't want to take that at home. I don't like the side effects. I just feel like it's too strong for at-home medication. And if I need to be taking Dilaudid, then I probably need to be in the hospital. It's just and for me. It might be different from somebody for somebody else. But that's how it is for me. Most of the times when I'm having to take Dilaudid back to back to back to back to back to back, I, I would end up in the hospital. So if I'm going to have to take that, if my head, I know my pain. If my head is like, girl, you, you need to go take that Dilaudid. I need to be on the way to my doctor's office to get directly admitted or to the ER. Simple as that for me. So I don't take the Dilaudid anymore. I do have it at home. I have backup. Or if. I ever am in pain that bad and I need to take it until I get to the doctor or the hospital um I have it but I haven't taken it um so the only thing I'm taking is the Norco and the Tramadol and when I'm not in a lot of pain I cut the Norcos in half but right now I'm not taking the Norcos at the beginning of the week I was taking the Norcos like three times a day like in the morning in the midday and then at night when I first came home from the hospital, I was taking the Norco every four hours, and I was taking the Tramadol in between. Um, so I'm no longer taking that. I'm just taking the Tramadol, and if my pain gets really, really bad, then I take the Norco, but I'm just trying to take the Tramadol and the Aleve and basically get off of the Tramadol to, or at least back to like one Tramadol a day or something like that. But I am tapering off. My pain is getting better. The only thing that I'm having a problem with is my knee. And I'm starting to feel like I tweaked it. And I don't know, didn't know that I tweaked it. And just because I tweaked it, I'm having more pain in that area. I know if I go to the doctor and talk to her about it, she is just going to be like, oh, feel around like they always do. Oh, it doesn't feel this bad. And then make me get x ray. The other day, it was a little bit swollen, but not to where you could really, really, really tell. But, um, yeah, so, it's not swollen now, though. And I can walk on it. I just have to be careful. 
Uh, let me think. What else? I'm going to do another video talking about how my hospital stay was. Because overall, it was really good. But I want to talk about it in a different video. But I've talked long enough. 10 minutes. And that's it for now, guys. All of my worries out there that aren't feeling good. I hope you feel better. Or the ones that are in the hospital feel better. Oh, I want to give a shout out to Nessa. She is a sickle cell warrior. She does videos. Um, sickle cell vlogs. I think her channel is under Nessa Hudges. I think. If I got that wrong, I am sorry. But hey. Um, so yeah. And to all my nomies out there. Hey, even though this is a sickle cell vlog. Hey. And that's it. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye y'all.